that says we're live. So, hey there guys, uh, JB Coins here at our second live stream. And just like the last one, we gotta try and work a few bugs out here. We've got a lag on the laptop uh, for the screen that I can see. Um, trying to find you guys. It says there's two of you watching, so let's see if I click on this, if it gets me to the right place. No, that's not it. Yep, there we are. Gave me a commercial before it let me go live. <laughs> Hi, SJ. Uh, hey, Slacker. Uh, Grove Minting. Uh, Jared from Grove Minting, the owner of Grove Minting Company, is here. Hello, everybody, he says. Uh, well, you guys can see this. Why am I reading it to you? Hey, Ace. Um, uh, it's good to see you guys. Um, let's see. There we go. Um, Woohoo, live stream. Yep, like that. All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to give away four rolls of 2017 P pennies okay and what we will do is the people that uh, that make uh, a super chat donation uh, at the end we will pick four winners and each one will get a bankroll of 2017p pennies uh, we're going to try and open some of the uh, pennies on on camera as well and sort through them and kind of play with our new uh, 5x Eschenbach Mobilux, which we really like, and our new scale that we've had for a couple of months. Um, but we want to make sure of a couple things. Uh, if you do win, please make sure and give us your address and your YouTube name, because we still have stuff for two people that won last week that never sent us their info. Um, so we need to we need to get you know get that stuff uh, you know kind of cleaned up. Um, and as always, even during the live streams, remember to hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, hit the notification button if you haven't hit that. Uh, that way you get notified when we do these. Um, also, we're going to, from now on, be doing live streams every Sunday at 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Uh, we, we would like to do more, but both of us have full-time jobs that pay the bills besides doing this. Um, and Sunday is the only day that we know that we're going to have off. Uh, occasionally we'll get a Saturday off and be able to maybe do a bonus uh, live stream at, at that time. But basically that's kind of how we're going to do this going forward is every Sunday at 4 o'clock Eastern Time uh, count on us being here. Um, and uh, also along the same lines, we're getting hundreds of emails. It's uh, everywhere. We're getting them within Gmail, we're getting them on the website, we're getting them in the YouTube chat areas and all that. So we got like hundreds of emails and pictures to look at of, of coins and things. So, you know, bear with us, we will get, we will get to everybody. We will answer everybody's qu uh, questions if they send us a question about a coin or whatever it might be. Um, and uh, the email address is jbcoinsinc.com. But of course, right below the video, you've got the links to take you to the website and YouTube and everything else. Up, oh, got our first uh, super chat. Paws Brown, six bucks. That roll you sent me, was it P or D? Um, P. Had to, had to stop and think about that myself, but it's a P. Um, so um, we also have our address on the website now. So if you want to send us something, you can find the address at the bottom of the uh, website, the P.O. Box. But don't send us a coin that you want us to look at and send back because, you know, I don't want to be responsible. We don't want to be responsible with, uh, you know, you send us a coin and it either gets damaged in shipment or the post office loses it or something like that. So if you send it to us, we're going to assume that you want us to keep it. SJ's Mixed Adventures, 10 bucks. Choo choo, starting the Super Chat strain. Cool, thank you very much, that's awesome. Um, let's see, I think we covered all the housekeeping items on that stuff. Um, oh, the last Super Chat a week ago, 
We had just given away uh, a prize for 15,000 subscribers. By the time we did the live stream, we had blown through 16,000 subscribers. Uh, as we sit here now, we may hit 18,000 during the live stream if we have enough new subscribers because we're at 17,924 as of right before we went live. So you guys are really, really, uh, you know, growing a, our channel fast. I mean, it's, it's, we really appreciate it. Um, and that goes back to the emails and all the other stuff. It's kind of hard to answer all that stuff because we're growing. Um, which is a good thing. Um, so, a couple things we want to show you, uh, and I'm keeping an eye on the screen. Um, the scale we've got here, uh, we got this a couple months ago. All the items that we're talking about, we have the links, like we said, down below, and some of them are, uh, we have so much stuff on there now, content-wise, on the website, that you have to scroll all the way to the bottom, for example, to find that baby uh, down in the featured section. Um, okay, so this, if you haven't seen it yet, is the new five power Mobile Lux. It's clearly twice the size of the 10 power Mobile Lux. So you can get an entire half dollar in there where with the 10 power you, could, you could, couldn't even get a quarter. So this is what the grading agencies usually use when they first glance at a coin is a, is a five to seven power. Uh, get a full overview of the coin, and then they will go to the higher powers, the 10 or the 20 uh, in some cases, to uh, like the microscope, to re refine and look down uh, in detail and also to take really clear photos because you can't take a really clear photo at five that's going to show a lot of detail. Um, let's see, pause. What is a blasted coin? Uh, I was trying to look for it with my magnifying loop, but couldn't see anything. The blasted coin is a term that we saw kind of floating around, uh, and we kind of uh, picked up on it. I don't think it appears in any of the print um, things that are out there in the coin collecting world, uh, you know, the, the old media, if you will, um, print media. The blasted term is because of what the coin looks like. Uh, you, you, you effectively have uh, what is probably a very weak strike. Uh, the, the details of the coin, it's almost like a struck through grease where the details of the coin are very faint and smeared, uh, but it almost has a bullseye effect to it to where you look at the center and it has rays expanding out from the center. So if I can put my hands in the screen here uh, instead of just that one hand, you basically have the center of the coin and everything just kind of goes like that. And so it looks like there was an explosion and you get the term blasted coin. So um, everything just winds up looking like it's trailing off to one side or the other, um, but it's not a struck through grease, okay? Um, let's see, oh, everybody's saying hi Cheryl, hi Cheryl. <laughs> uh, you, didn't miss, you didn't miss a lot except we got a couple super chats already. Um, and we're just kind of going over some of the new stuff. Um, so, like I said, this thing has an LED light too. That really helps a lot. Uh, you don't have to depend so much on uh, background lighting or, you know, a lot of what we were trying to do with videos and the coin roll hunts is try and see these in daylight because you, it's easier to see the coins. Well, with this thing, you don't have to worry about it. Um, then we have, since we're doing pennies, we've got the scale, which is also on our site. We got this a few months ago, and this thing is like 10 bucks. Folds up, fits in your shirt pocket. You can bring it with you to a coin show or a garage sale, whatever, uh, if you're gonna buy, you know, whatever. If you're gonna buy scrap jewelry or you can buy some coins or you're trying to look at different things. But the most important thing is, there have been several discoveries lately of uh, off-metal uh, transitional year pennies, 82s and 83s in particular, that were supposed to have been zinc and came out copper. And so you can put them on here and you can weigh them and you'll very clearly see the difference. It's got a little digital readout on and off. Uh, you can set up the modes whether you want to have it in pounds or ounces, but all the coin 
uh, measurements are in grams. So this one is defaulted to grams, okay? And it's extremely accurate. Um, we have a calibration weight that we put on there and, uh, and it's within a thousandth of a gram. Um, another five bucks from Paws Brown, dude. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what's this one? I'm looking through 42,000 pennies. What are the chances of finding an Indian head? With that many pennies, you might find one. Uh, in a normal box of pennies, they're getting harder and harder to find. Uh, wheats are getting lesser and lesser, but um, uh, an Indian head is a rare treat. But with 42,000, uh, that's, that's a pretty good number there. Um, let's see, what's your favorite type of coin or currency? Wow, you know, that changes all the time. Um, I like silver. Uh, I like gold. Um, the, the, you know, the, there's the Indian heads that I like. Um, uh, there's the two and a half dollar gold Indians um, that my sweetie got me addicted to when I first met her. And at some point, we're going to go into more detail on those. We, we showed one once, I think, a couple years ago. Um, uh, they're very cool coins, um, but uh, right now, I think I said it last week, I'm kind of coveting a, uh, an 1865 three cent proof um, because that was the first year of production. Uh, it was a Civil War date, a uh, very limited uh, series, and 1865 was the first year of production. So um, let's see. A quick question, can I send you very detailed pics of coins? I have to determine whether or not they're worth submitting for grading. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you guys can um, send us a picture, uh, attach it to an email on our website. Make sure you put your full email address on there so that we can reply back. Uh, an early problem that we had uh, with the channel was that people weren't putting their email address and they would submit something and we wouldn't have any way to reply back. So. Um, so that one uh, is important. Make sure you put that on all your stuff, uh, especially if you want a contest, for example. Pause Brown, do you have a Kruger in yet? No, I do not have a, a Kruger in yet. Um, I know that they just had a sale uh, on the 50th anniversary Kruger in in silver, which I believe you're talking about, uh, that um, uh, some, you know, a lot of them were slabbed and they were, they were going for three, four, five hundred bucks. Uh, but I know if I, an, 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 uh, I'm going to get tongue tied, an unslabbed example I'm, I'm thinking is uh, in the $60 range. Correct me if I'm wrong, if, you, if you're aware of the price of that pause. Um, let's see, what was the very first United States mint? Uh, Ace Freely. Um, that would be the Philadelphia. Uh, the year, I believe it was in the 1700s, but I can't recall exactly. Uh, but that's why when the 2017 P popped up, 1792 somebody put down there. There you go. Um, when the P popped up on the 2017, that's why people started flipping out because from 1792 until now, the penny was the only coin that they hadn't put the P on at some time or another. So when they put it out there, wow, Grove Minting just hit us with a hundred bucks. Uh, wow, uh, what do you say to that? Uh, JB Coins, we find your videos informative across all varieties of numismatic collectibles. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Jared, that's awesome, man. Uh, maybe we can get a Kruger in. <laughs> or some stuff from, from, from his company. If you guys don't know, uh, and, and you go to groveminting.com, uh, he has, uh, he has uh, a bunch of different coins on there that he mints, and he goes to the detail that we all complain about and wish that the mint would, uh, would um, put into the coins that they make, especially like the commemoratives and things that we pay a premium for. He's got some coins that are like a 10th ounce silver coin for 10 bucks. You know, uh, and, and it, the detail on it is absolutely crisp. Yes, it's a rep it's a replica of older coins. It's a replica of pattern coins that didn't get produced in many cases. Um, but the guy's stuff is just killer. Um, his '77 uh, uh, Frank Asparo design that that became the Susan B. Anthony by mistake. 
the design that should have gone on the coin, uh, that thing was just awesome. Uh, and a lot of us wound up buying those and uh, uh, in a very limited runs. He doesn't do he doesn't do huge runs. Um, let's see. Uh, you are right. I'd love to send you one if you'd like one. Just as a thanks for your videos. It's the unslab, but it's silver. Yeah, you want to send us a Kruger in, man. We're not gonna turn it down. That's that, that's cool. Um, read people's YouTube names. That was Paws Brown that said that. Uh, Grove Minning, uh, welcome. Krugerians are awesome too. Yeah, they are. They are. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's wow on the money from Grove Minning, and wow that somebody wants to send us a Krugerian. Uh, thank you to both of you guys. That's, 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 uh, I, you know, what do you say? That's just awesome. Sorry, I had to take a sip of water. <clears throat> let's see. Does anyone know if there's an error? If that's an error? Have a faded nine and seven and a faded L in Liberty, but the rest of the coin has a strong strike. I'm not tracking. I'm sorry. Uh, you'd have to probably send us a picture on it. Um, probably, some, probably should start opening some pennies, uh, although I'm enjoying the conversation. I don't know about you guys. Um, I can move some of this stuff out of the way here and make some room. Uh, Paws Brown, I'm going to be ordering a couple coins from Grove Mint. They are beautiful. Yeah, good for you. Um, good on you, man. Uh, thanks to you, I bought a couple of coins from their website. Thanks, JB. Yeah, yeah, we, we put it out there as soon as we saw it because it was, we, we just thought that was just a gorgeous coin. And, uh, and then we discovered all the other stuff the, that he's produced. And uh, I'm sure he'll, I'm sure he got a few things in the fire that, that you know, Whenever he comes out with those, we'll price jump on those too. Um, the man knows quality. That's what and history. That's one thing I will definitely say for sure. Um, let's see. Glad to see your channel growing. Weak strike or whirring is what somebody said. Somebody said, "What are Krugerans? Krugerans are the silver um, uh, German version of our Silver Eagle, basically. Uh, Krugerrands came out in the 80s in the gold form uh, when gold was re-legalized for us to, to own gold here in the, in the United States. Uh, and so folks that had the money uh, were buying up Krugerrands like crazy, but they were gold Krugerrands. And that was 50 years ago. So in celebration of the 50th anniversary of the gold Krugerrands coming out, they've come out with a Silver Strike Krugerrand and that's what uh, is being referred to. Uh, how old are you? <laughs> uh, I'm an old fart. Um, prefer not to give specific uh, uh, information about ourselves on, on here, uh, but uh, suffice to say I started doing this stuff in the 1960s. So that'll give you an idea that I'm not a kid. Um, what are your thoughts on buying coins on eBay? Um, we do it a lot, actually. Uh, you just have to be careful. Try and go with um, somebody that has lots of transactions, lots of positive feedback. Um, the things you have to be careful with are uh, like buying silver. Um, you know, uh, I mean, we sell on eBay, um, you know, but again, you're not going to know everybody that's on eBay. But for example, we've bought from um, I'm going to draw a blank on his name. Uh, Dave's Collectibles, I think it is, uh, is one of the names that he uses on eBay. And we've bought a lot of coins from him to fill in blank spots in our, in our collection. Um, so you just have to know. Uh, another one is Great Southern Coins, which we use a lot of their uh, auction stuff. They sell their coins auction style. They also have Buy It Now. We put a lot of their stuff up uh, to show you guys examples of what the coins look like and and what they're worth. Uh, the very first coin that I grabbed here is uh, 2009. It's it's kind of dark looking, but it's a, oops. It is the uh, Lincoln commemorative uh, when he was in the state legislature. This is the third of the of the series of, of the pennies. Uh, don't know how well that shows up. It's pretty dark, um, but uh, gonna set that aside. We're, we're pretty much of the mindset that we're going to pretty much try and keep 
uh, as many of the 2009s across the board as we can. Um, here is a 1981. I'm going to turn that on, throw that on the scale. We're not going to be able to get it on camera for you, I don't think. Maybe we can. Uh, now, see when I tilt it, it throws it off, but you can see the digital readout there. Uh, when I hold it level, it's 3.2. Okay? So, uh, is there a giveaway today? Yes, we are giving away four rolls, uh, complete bank rolls of 2017P. They're right here. Uh, each winner will get one roll of 2017P unwrapped. Uh, or, or, or yeah, unmolested uh, fresh mint. Who is Camera Girl? Camera Girl doesn't exist anymore. Uh, Camera Girl is a nickname that I kind of uh, at the at the beginning of doing this three or four years ago, uh, I just kind of threw out there and and called my wife uh, Camera Girl instead of calling her my wife or you know sweetie like I call her now or or you know whatever. Uh, a lot of folks, it's, it's caused a lot of confusion. Uh, we kind of explained it in the last video. We'll probably have to explain it a few more times because it, 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 there's still people that call her camera girl and, and we prefer to just kind of get away with that, away from that um, and, and explain. JB Coins came about because J is my first initial and B is her first initial. So you can call me J, you can call her B, you can call her sweetie. She'll, she'll be okay with that. Um, uh, you know, yeah, some people will say, Mr. JB, I'm not, I'm not JB, we are JB. Uh, but that's okay, okay? Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll answer to those, but the correct thing basically going forward is, I'm J, she's B, together we're J and, you know, we're JB coins. Uh, so a lot of you have started sending us messages that say J and B, and, and that's probably the, way, the best way to do it. Um, but anyway, can you do a face reveal? Nah, not going to do that either. <laughs> uh, there's, uh, there's, uh, um, there's, there's probably still a poster up in the, in the post office somewhere with my picture on it. Uh, let's see, we got 77, we got an 80. What I'm doing is, this is an 80D, we're throwing, I'm throwing the, the copper coins off to the right and, and uh, just a habit that I've developed. I always throw the copper coins to the right and I throw the um, post copper, the zinc coins, uh, 83 and up to the left. Uh, separate them that way and then I go through and sort individual coins or if I see a, a coin that catches my eye, I'll stop, obviously. I know in 82 some of the pennies were zinc, some were copper. Why are they worth money? I always win my 83s. Um, the 82D, I believe, is what they found. Um, that was the one that I think this weekend was going to auction. Um, and um, there wasn't supposed to be um, a copper 82D. It was supposed to be zinc. And so somebody found a copper one. Uh, the 83s, of course, were all supposed to be zinc. And uh, what is an 83 copper penny worth? Uh, we're probably going to find out today when they go to auction. I've heard numbers anywhere from 3,000 to 10,000. Um, I, I saw one of the uh, magazines that, you know, oh, $10,000 coin. I think even uh, one of the guys on their channel on a, on a video about it uh, said something about a $10,000 fine or something. We'll find out when we get there. Small date 82D. There you go. Um, now remember, there's seven different, there, there were seven different um, varieties of the 82. The smart, small date, large date, Philadelphia, Denver, zinc, copper, all of that kind of stuff. So now you, you have, in theory, you have an eighth one. Um, so you have an 82D zinc and you have an 82D copper in the small date. Uh, at least that's kind of what I'm assuming. Um, Love, let's see, Anthony Cole, love your videos, brother, and all the time and information you put into them. Thank you, peace. Same to you, man. We appreciate all you guys watching, uh, devoting the time uh, to watch all the stuff we put up there and hope that you guys find it interesting. Um, 
One of the tips I want to pass along too, uh, if you notice this weekend, we had a huge auction, which is still going on. They had a, they had a four day auction going on at Heritage uh, this week with lots and lots of error coins and lots and lots of very unusual coins. So we've put up about a dozen, I think, uh, auction results in the last couple of days. And what we've tried to do is put them into a, um, put them into a, uh, uh, God, live TV, <laughs> a playlist on the website, uh, on the YouTube site, excuse me, not the website, on the YouTube site. So if you click playlist, it'll give you the nickel list, for example, with the buff all the Buffalo nickels and then ending with the Hobo nickels. Uh, and in this case, it would be auction results, and it'll actually give you all the old auctions too, but you could go with that first uh, auction result, and then you can just sit there and watch one video after another, after another, after another, without having some you know random stuff pop up when, when the video ends. Um, let's see, I'm finally finding 2017s in Illinois. Good for you, Cheryl. Um, coin slacker, did I miss a hundred dollar donation? Yeah, you did. That was uh, Grove Minting threw that at us. Um, let's see, uh, Jericho eleven twenty three greetings. Same to you, man. Uh, are they a P mint mark? Oh, you're asking Cheryl that probably. Um, uh, and then INA coins nineteen. I found a whole box of twenty seventeen P's. Good on you, man. We uh, we found a whole bunch of them when they first came out, and um, and uh, and we sold a few, you know, rolls and things like that. Um, but uh, we're you know we're keeping we're keeping a stash for ourselves too. Let's see, Grove minting. Fun fact for everyone: weighing a whole roll, the full roll of zinc plated should weigh approximately 126 grams. If the roll weighs more than that, it's guaranteed to have some full 95% coppers in it. That's cool. I've never, I've never heard anybody give that, give that out. Uh, Jared, that's a really cool, that's a really cool fact. I like that. Uh, let's see. Found 52 wheats and an Indian in a box of pennies. Nolan Bankeroff. Wow, dude. Uh, come bring me some. <laughs> Uh, we get about 20% coppers in rolls from coins for amateurs. Um, okay, yeah, we were we were running probably a 20 to 30 um, percent three four years ago, and now I'd say we're down to about 15 to 20 percent. It seems to have dropped off. Um, let's see, Jeremy Johnson. I have a few older coins, but don't know what any of them are worth. So, well, thank you for watching the, the videos. Um, Let's see, Ace Freely says he heard the 83 copper sold at auction recently for 22,600. That's quite possible, man. I, I, I have no idea. Um, what's your eBay store name? Uh, JB Coins Inc. <laughs> we're, we're real creative. You know, jbcoinsinc.com for the website, JB Coins Inc. for the uh, YouTube, JB Coins Inc. for, uh, yeah, we have a custom URL, by the way, on, on YouTube now. It's, it's YouTube. Uh, dot com backslash C for you know, like Charlie um, and another backslash and then JB Coins Inc. and it takes you right to right to us so you don't have to hunt around there. Um, I'm not getting to these pennies, am I? <laughs> uh, any errors found on the 2017 D cent? Everyone's talking about the 2017 P's, just curious about the 2017 D's. Yeah, um, they actually have found. Uh, let me check my lists. Don't forget, guys, we've got the lists over on the website. And believe it or not, I have the 2017s on the list. Uh, and I'm flipping through a printout copy over here so that I can find it. Um, I do not have the D on there. I have the P. Uh, I've got three different things listed for the Ps. Uh, the double die, the triple die, uh, cuds, die cracks, things like that. Um, uh, but the D, I believe they just found some doubling on, on that, um, but I haven't written it down anywhere, so I've got to find it. Um, how much time do you have before an auction to get your consignment in? Consignment. Oh, you mean like a, a heritage auction? Uh, it depends by the company. 
Um, I know I just recently contacted him because I was thinking about selling something that, that I've had for years and years and years. It's not coin related, but they had a com an auction coming up and I asked if it was too late and they said, yeah, it was, it was too late. They, they had a certain amount of time, you know, like a month or two ahead uh, of the auction that they wanted to have it. Uh, they also uh, will take a look at whether they think it meets their criteria, you know, and, and their standards. So sometimes the auction company will turn you down and say, you know, thanks, but we don't want to auction that. So be prepared to, 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 to get that to happen possibly too. Uh, do you just get your rolls from the bank? No, actually, it's a good question. Uh, we've shot videos about the different places we've tried to get money. Um, it's been a while since we've done one like that, but uh, when the 2017s first came out, uh, we actually found some at the local grocery store. Um, the grocery store that we go to near our house uh, likes to have uh, new clean change when they give it out. And um, the same thing with the cafeteria where I work. Um, and so both places I was able to get 2017 uh, pennies when they first came out by the roll. Uh, and also um, effigy mounds. We were getting effigy mounds quarters uh, that were brand new mint issue uh, from the grocery store. Uh, and occasionally, like on a holiday weekend, if you're bored and you run out of coins or whatever, uh, I've been known to run to the grocery store and say, hey, you got any, got any new coins that I can go, you know, buy a, a couple of rolls? Um, let's see, is a 25S key date, weedy a key date? Um, off the top of my head, I um, don't think so, but but go to, go to our website, uh, click on uh, click on Indian or, or you know Wheaties, and um, and it'll tell you whether or not a 25s is a key date or not. That's what the lists are there for, guys. Um, how much wares do you have? That one I don't get. Oh, message retracted. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. Cause that bug. I just have how much wheats. Okay, thanks. All right, so starting to peter out a little bit on the, on the comments there. Uh, don't forget, whoever kicks into the live chat, we've got four rolls of 2017 peas that we will give away at the end of this uh, at the end of this live stream to four of the super chat um, people uh, that that give us money like that. Um, and I'm separating off, like I always do, the copper on one side and the zinc on the other. And you're going to watch me use this thing. Uh, this is, and I'm looking at it because it caught my eye, this is a 59D. And I don't know if I can get this on the camera. Look how shiny that thing is, man. It's, that thing's beautiful. And... We just shot that one from the auction. Of course, that one was a mule scent. That was the one that had the 59D on the front and the wheat on the back. But that is a gorgeous 59D right there. Um, let's see. Yeah, somebody, somebody up there. Nolan Bankeroff, mule scent, mule scent. Um, uh, yeah, I wish. <laughs> um, Matthew A. just joined in. Man, you missed a bunch of super chats. Look at the top. 100 bucks from Grove Minting. Uh, you got to top that one. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we've got quite a few uh, of those. And anybody that does uh, has a shot at getting a roll of 2017 peas straight from the mint. Uh, and uh, we will give those away at the end of the video. Um, Bunch of 2016, 2016, 2016, 2016, 2016. Lots of 2016s in here. 2012, 2016, 2014 D. Wow. Around here we don't get a lot of Ds. That's that's one of the things that's kind of funny is is you know we've learned from you guys, um, you know the 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 Ps. You know we. You know, we get some older D's, but like um, the, the the newer D's, we haven't seen a 2017 D here um, in new issue. Um, let's see, do you have that one was rolled off? I didn't see it. 
uh, collection we be doing a video of that. I think that was the Indian heads. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a video soon on Indian heads. Uh, have you gotten to the 2017 D's? No, I haven't gotten to them. I have some. I have to go through them. You will see those. Um, be an ambitious, not content. Hello all. Hi, how you doing? Good to see you again. Uh, J and B, I see you're using your new magnifier. I like it. Yep, yep. We like it too. Um, Paul's Brown saying hi to welcome. Uh, hi to Ed. Um, that's cool. Um, here's a good one to look for. 2014. And I'll just hold it up to the camera. You're not going to be able to see it too well, especially when I slip it around in my hand. Uh, the 2014 is known to have Liberty and the date double dyed, and it's on our list. Um, let's see. We have 2017 D all the time, Washington State, but only seen two P's. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. Uh, I talked to a buddy of mine that lives in Dallas, and, he, and I asked him, what do you get on your change? Do you get a P or a D? And he said D. So uh, Dallas, you know, they're not that far from Denver. That kind of makes sense. Um, you know, we're all the way on the East Coast, so, you know, uh, Philadelphia is closer. There's an 82. Um, throw it on a scale. See if I can turn it on. <laughs> 3.1. Yep, that's copper. <laughs> um, 87. Wow, I can't even make that one out. It's so grungy. It's 2004 and 2016. Um, Coin Slacker, you're not far away from us. Minnesota. Love your videos. Great live chat. Hoping you and Camera Girl have a million more. Going to mention it in case you weren't here earlier. We don't call her Camera Girl anymore. She's going by B, which is JB is I'm J. She's B. That's what, those are our first initials. That's how we came up with JB Coins, Inc. It just causes too much confusion. People want to know who Camera Girl is. Are you married to her or whatever? And yes, she's a smoking hot younger chick than me that was fool enough to marry me. And it turned out that <laughs> you can hear her laughing in the background. Uh, she's, uh, hey, anybody can rock five inch heels and, and, and walk and, and look as, as great as she does. And when I met her and found out she was in, she found out I was into coin collecting. And the next thing I know, she starts pulling out this coin collection. You know, my jaw dropped. Um, not just not for the first time when, since I've met her, but uh, she uh, she had accumulated a hell of a collection uh, before she even met me. And uh, so we've just had lots of fun combining our collections, combining our knowledge, and kind of fitting things together and. And, and a lot of times things that I don't know she knows and a lot of times you know things that she doesn't know I know but she knows a hell of a lot so it's kind of hard um, let's see uh, think about cracking open some plaid proofs from the 80s would you suggest doing that ah uh, clad proofs from the 80s you know it, yeah I would consider it because and I, and I put a caveat on that because we've been seeing a lot of coins at auction lately um, that are getting high grades. Uh, and by high grades, I mean, you know, uh, proof 66, proof 67 and higher. Uh, we just saw the Ike was one of the videos we did uh, that was a proof 70, one of only 20 known to exist. And that thing sold for like $7,000. Uh, there was a Ben Franklin from, I think, 50, 1950, Philadelphia. And that thing was gorgeous. And I can't remember what that thing sold for. It was, it was in the thousands. Uh, and then obviously, you know, you're looking for if you have a, a Sacramento Mint set, and if all the coins but one has the S on it, you might have a coin that has the missing S mint mark. Uh, there are quite a few dates, uh, as it turns out, that have that, uh, and they're finding more and more because people are starting to go back to those old mint sets. Other than that, if there's no other reason, um, you know, if the coins aren't, you know, going to get graded, um, or the, you know, they don't appear to be missing the mint set, 
a lot of times they're worth more in the original packaging than if you break them up, okay? At least that's kind of what been been our, our uh, experience. Uh, match made in heaven. Yeah, absolutely, Cheryl. She's, uh, she's uh, amazing lady. I was very, very lucky to find her and um, uh, and she just pointed at the like button and said, if you like it, hit the like button. That's a good idea. I like that girl. Um, <laughs> wish my fiance, uh, pause Brown says, wish my fiance loved coins. I ask her to look for coins and it just confuses her to laugh out loud. You know what, dude? Buy her a gold, either a Kruger and or, uh, a, you know, like a 10th ounce uh, or quarter ounce uh, gold eagle or maybe even one of the old two and a half or five dollar uh, Indians. Um, they're, they're all about three to five hundred bucks somewhere in there. Give her that as a present and see if her head doesn't spin around and she suddenly becomes a, uh, a coin freak. <laughs> you, know? Um, you know, you never know. Uh, what does your face look like? Hmm, let's see. Uh, as I've grown up through the years, I've been compare, compared to John Travolta, Eric Estrada, George Clooney, um, geez, I can't remember. You know, there's always some flavor of the month that somebody comes up with and they say, oh, you look just like, and you know, uh, when somebody came up to one of my cousins and said, I look like George Clooney, my cousin's response was, no, he looks like my cousin. Um, so it, you know, I look like me. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just a normal guy. Uh, and, uh, and she keeps pointing at me, do pennies. Uh, my favorite coin is a mercury dime. Mercury dimes are awesome, man. I, I, I you know, I, I'll take a mercury dime anytime. Um, so, my sweetie's telling, reminding me that I should be opening pennies. I've only got one roll open. Uh, how long have we been at this anyway? Uh, I tend to lose time when I'm when I'm doing this. Um, could probably do this forever. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Love talking to you guys. Uh, you know, we, we exchange emails back and forth, but, um, you know, the interaction and the chatting is, is, uh, is just a lot more fun. There's an 81, uh, 96, 94, 94, a lot of mid dates. And I will check these against the list when, when we're not kind of, you know, pressed for time here. Um, yeah, we all have look-alike sweet love. That's, that's, that is absolutely true. Um, there's a 64D. Wow, that's a real nice one, too. Um, again, uh, you know, the camera kind of don't know if it'll show it or not, but there you go. It's a real nice one. I'm going to set that one off to the side. Uh, 2016s, 2015s. Um, you really want to go to the list because, um, you know, I try to add whenever I find out about a, hey, what do you know, a 2017P. <laughs> uh, whenever I find out about a new error being discovered, I add it to the list. So I haven't got all the lists done and, and, and I'm behind on a couple of lists. It's like the dime list. Um, but that's because I really, really go through them thoroughly. Um, I want to I want to get as many of the errors listed on there as I possibly can. Um, let's see how much Indians do you have, man? I have no idea. It's in the hundreds, I'm sure. Um, uh, I know that's Coin Searcher. I know my sweetie has, I think, almost an entire set. Um, but we have boxes of <laughs> of extras. Uh, that we're trying to figure out what to do with. Uh, let's see, Troy saying hi to Cheryl. Uh, pause Brown. Any coins that I've got graded, she says, sell them since we're not in the middle class. Also, I bought her a $1,500 diamond white gold ring and she lost it, unfortunately. Uh, super glue works great. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. She'll be at my front door with an Uzi. Um, <laughs> Let's see, Anthony Cole, wow, pause, Brown, yep, uh, Cheryl Bossman, okay, uh, B, 
B should open a roll. <laughs> Next time, she says. Um, 2016, 95, 96, here's a 74. That looks a little strange. Have to look at that one off camera a little bit. It looks, it looks almost like it was uh, squeezed. Uh, it's, it's a little smaller than it should be. So I'm going to have to look at that one, find out later on. Um, let's see, 95, 90, 98. Let's see. How are we doing here? Did I say we're 45 minutes in already? Wow. No wonder I get thirsty when I'm halfway through this thing. <laughs> Put that up there so I don't hit it. Man, that hundred dollar super chat really stays up there, doesn't it? Um, I know the larger the amount of the super chat, uh, my understanding is the longer it will stay up um, at the top. So I got a feeling that's going to be up there for a while. Uh, Seventy four. I threw an eighty over there a second ago. Uh, there's a 71D, um, 91, 88, 2016, 2016, 2015, 2016, lots of shields, 2016. I don't know about you guys, but we're, we're seeing a lot more, a lot more shields than, um, you know, they're. I mean, obviously they've been around for a little while. They're starting to kind of, when you when you're looking at the back of the pile, it it sometimes seems a little. There's another 2017P. It seems a little overwhelming that that many. Uh, there's a 2001 in really nice shape that I'm gonna have to look at for where the AM is. Oh, another 59D. I think that's a 59D. Um, snacks don't like. It. What's up with the Lincoln Sense? Uh, we're opening Lincoln Sense while we're doing the chat. That's just something to do. 59D. Okay, come on. Let there be a weedy on the back. Oh, no, Memorial. That's all right. It's a nice one. Um, turn the light off. Put that back. 73. 99, 89. And my sweetie's kind of keeping an eye on to make sure I don't miss anything important while I'm doing this because I can't do both. Um, I haven't trained my eyeballs yet to do one left or right. Jeremy Johnson, $5 super chat. New to this, but have lots of coins to go through. We'll send some picks so you can let me know what you think. Sounds good, man. Appreciate the five bucks and, uh, you know, be glad to take a look at stuff. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, you know, send, just make sure you send us the best pictures you can. Sometimes people send us a, a picture and it's like, what am I looking at? I can't even tell what kind of coin it is. Now that thing, either somebody got hungry or did the, is it really zinc or copper acid test? Because the edge of that is completely gone. Um, and it sure looks like somebody melted the edge of that off with some acid. <laughs> Not that I would know why that would look like that, but... Uh, let's see, what's this coin? Hmm. Um, I was coin hunting, pause brown, I was coin hunting dimes last night, found a dime that looked like there was grease on the reverse of the outer rim, but there's no lettering. Does that sound right? No, there should be lettering uh, on the reverse. Um, we actually just shot one, uh, one of ours that uh, it's on the front. It uh, is a 19.9, but the fourth digit is completely gone. And some of the lettering is gone on the left uh, front. I think L and I are about half gone. So in a couple days, you'll see that video and you'll, you'll see several examples of struck through grease and, and, and things like that. Um, Let's see, the 2001. Wow, that's a really small date on that one. I'm going to take a, I'm going to set it off to the side and again, look at that one later. 
um, 89, and then another 82. Whoa, offset strike. And an 83, and an 85. So we turn the scale on, slide it down here. This 82. Uh, George Succi, hey dude. Sorry I'm late, just got home. No problem, somebody's gotta work. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Uh, we're getting lots of uh, Super Chat donations. You can see Grove Minting up the top, kinda the big dog. Uh, we're going to give away the four rolls of 2017 peas that we've got, uh, one roll per winter, obviously. Uh, and I'm trying to go through uh, rolls of pennies, but I think I've only gotten through two. But this is this 82, and again with this camera and this lighting, um, it's severely offset. There's no edge to the right of the two at all. There's no rim, uh, and a very thick rim. Uh, on the upper left hand side. So we're going to throw that on the scale and that's 3.1 so that one's definitely copper and it's an offset strike so that's definitely a keeper and then here's an 83 it is not an, any kind of offset strike but it's 2.6 so we know that one's zinc it goes to the junk pile I mean uh, zinc pile. Um, Hey, JB Coins. Hey, John Bradley. Um, let's see. Just getting here. Missed the start card collector 2014. Man, you missed a lot. Um, uh, Grove Minting's got 100 bucks up there. We've got probably, I don't know, six or eight uh, live chat donations besides that. Um, and Paws Brown's done a couple of them. Um, and uh, let's see. I crack another roll open. I uh, don't know how we're doing on time. 51 minutes. Uh, yeah, I might not get through this roll um, within the allotted time, but there really isn't an allotted time, as you guys know. It's kind of like more or less an hour, but you know, we want to try and find something cool. Hey, there you go. Right as I said. Weedy. Got a weedy. There it is. Ghost of Jared. Ghost to Jared? Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy? Who's Jeremy? Wow. Holy cow. 1945. And this thing is absolutely gorgeous. The numbers and the letters are probably among the crispest that I have seen. And the wheat chaffs on the back are, you can see each individual, this is, this is a really, really good condition wheat penny. So my sweetie said this is going to Jared. Um, let's see, um, I'm just, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, so I'm gonna put that over by our logo thing. Uh, let's see, we got 81, another 81, a 71. 2016, another 64. Sixty-four D. Now 64 D, if I remember right, is known for an RPM on that on that D. So uh, that's a good one to look for. Um, and an 80. 2015. What is your oldest coin, Ace Freely? Man, we tried to figure that out one time. Um, we've got some ancients. So, um, um, God, what, 30, 30 BC, something like that? I think it's, I think it's around 30 BC. Um, you know, as far as American money, I think in the 1800s, um, which is also one of the reasons why I want to kind of start drilling a little bit further back into the American money. Um, you know, I've, we've got quite a few V nickels and uh, Indian cents, things like that. Uh, but we, we really kind of like the designs of a lot of those really old coins. And uh, so we want to kind of put a little emphasis on, on, on going back into that. Uh, JMB found an 83 that weighs 2.7 grams. Any ideas? Um, and that should be 
that should be zinc. 83, that, that 2.7 grams should be zinc. So if it's an 83, that should be incorrect. Um, that means you have a zinc 83, which would mean it's uh, possibly collectible. Uh, I would I would make sure your scale's correct, and if it's if it's reading correctly, and that that's the weight, uh, I think you got to get that one checked. Um, well, we're finding a couple 2017 P's in this roll. Um, 96, 89 D. 80, 2016, 2013. Oh, Vicky C. of FAM gave five bucks. Uh, thanks for answering my email so quickly and for the advice I needed. I recognize the eyeball, actually. Um, <laughs> her, uh, see, she's got her eye in there for like an emoji or uh, avatar. That's, that, that, caught my, that caught my eye when I saw it. Um, John Bradley, another five bucks. No question, but um, Mark Muhammad just got here. What did I miss? Anything good yet? No, not a thing, man. Ignore that hundred bucks on the top and the other money that's up there. You know, just throw some cash in the in the pot and move on. Uh, <laughs> Mark Mark uh, was one of the winners last week, so I'm giving him kind of a hard time. Um, he's kind of a regular around here. Uh, what we're doing? We got four rolls of 2017 peas over here. And so we're going to pick four winners uh, out of the super chats. Uh, each person, uh, each we'll pick four winners basically. So each one will get a roll, because um, uh, some of y'all have not gotten any 2017s, and we have been blessed to get them. So we're going to share. Um, Vicky C. Of, she's laughing because I, I made the comment about her eye. I think. Um, Let's see, how much longer are you going to be on? Probably not too much longer. Uh, no CC, but would be glad to send an MO. Not sure I get that one, um, Anthony. Um, so we got maybe 15 minutes left, something like that. Um, okay, uh, let's see, do you still, let's see. I can hit people up with 2017 Ds. That's, that'd be cool. Um, Jay, do you still have a few rolls of 2017P rolls on eBay? Mm -hmm. uh, nope. Nope, they're gone. Um, yeah, we, we sold those until we uh, didn't feel comfortable. We, um, one of the things you have to watch out there is um, uh, Loomis, especially if it's on the roll. We noticed that uh, they were starting to uh, ship uh, rolls that you know both ends would say 2017 P and then you open up the roll and there's 2016 some of them even had old circulated coin like this in it so um, don't pay don't pay a premium for a Loomis that's 2017 P because it might not be all 2017 P's at this point um, you know we were we were kind of really surprised and we were glad we found them because we uh, I don't think we sent anybody did we send one out and have to? Mm -hmm. No, no. <laughs> Open up another roll, see if we have any more wheats here that pop out at us. Um, see what I mean by the shields? They're just, they kind of dominate the table here. Uh, 2017 Ds, please make a video about the 42S Jefferson Nickel. Okay, coin slacker. Um, I'll have to check into that because right now that's not clicking anything other than it's a war nickel. Um, unless you're talking about the counterfeits, I, I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to shoot me an email or something or, or give me a heads up on that, and uh, I'll have to do some research on that. Um, the by the way, the uh, we started shooting like I, I think I said at some point, but I'll say it again. Uh, we started shooting some of the videos from the ideas that you guys submitted, and they are turning out, uh, I think, really awesome. They're, they're, some of the topics that you guys are asking about are really, really uh, good stuff. And actually, some of the stuff you guys are asking about in the chats uh, are covered by some of the suggestions uh, and videos that we, are, uh, that we have lined up to shoot. Um, that's a weird one. That has a really high mint mark on it um jb what does your face look like 
the same same as it looked like this morning when I shaved. Um, let's see, eighty six D, but the D looks really funny. I'm gonna have to look at that under the microscope later. Um, yeah, we don't. I was kidding around earlier that you know look like George Clooney or whatever, but you know it's uh, I look like me. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, what's your email? Coin Slacker. Our email is jbcoinsinc at gmail.com. Uh, our website is jbcoinsinc.com. <laughs> our YouTube is YouTube back, uh, forward slash C forward slash jbcoinsinc. Like I said earlier, we're really creative. Uh, we're just trying to make it as easy and as uniform for everybody. So, you know, you just you, you go in there and you throw in JB Coins Inc. and, and you come up with us. Uh, I coined around to 20 bucks in Loomis Rolls and didn't find a single week. Oddly suspicious. Yeah, there's something. I don't know. It's it just maybe it's just me, but it seems like there's uh, or us. But, you know, we we see the Loomis thing and we kind of go, no, that's OK. Um, it just seems kind of weird, you know. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure that they've uh, uh, taken all the silver out uh, when they get it too. Uh, have a discriminator doing that. Probably all the armored car companies by now are doing that because um, if you saw our quarter video that we did, this is going back probably two, three months ago when we did the really massive update of our quarter list. Um, we laid them all out on the table because you guys had asked, you know, what's the best way to organize the search like that with the list? And we laid them all out by year on the table. And I literally pointed, I remember I pointed to the spot on the table and went, see this hole right here? That's 1964. That's when the silver was supposed to, to be there. And there's nothing before that. And it literally started with 65 and, and went on. And, and that continues today to still be the case in, in most of the boxes we've been going through. We haven't found any silver for a while. Um, let's see. Uh, recycle Ray, ha, coin op, Dustin looks like Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, he is a little on the shaggy side, but uh, uh, way back when uh, in, the, in, the, in the 70s before I went in the service, uh, I kind of looked a little on that shaggy side too. So. Um, but ever since I was in the service, I, I still keep my hair short. I don't know why it, it's can't get it out of my system. Uh, SJ's mixed adventures. I print out all of your lists. They're so helpful. That's cool. That's what they're there for. Um, can we see the view out that window in front of you window in front of us? Oh, you're seeing a little daylight shining in. No, you don't, want to, you don't want to see what's out there. Our neighbor decided he's going to weed whip right now while we're doing this. And uh, he doesn't know that we're shooting a video in here. And, and you really don't want to see him. Um, let's see. Tomorrow I'm going to dip into my savings and get a thousand and a half. So wish me luck. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good luck. Um, half dollars. Uh, if you don't find silver, make sure you check the lists because we've got a lot of errors listed on those and we have found some really good errors in the halves. And in fact, my, my sweetie found a 1964D, I believe. Was that the one, sweetie? Was that a 64D that you found the, the multiple strike? Yeah. yeah. This thing was bizarre, man. It was, uh, uh, it was a, let's see, Grove Minting Company, George, your 83 2.7 cent is slightly out of tolerance for zinc plated scent, but it does happen, especially for D-Mint Mark. Make your, yeah, make sure your scale is calibrated. Um, uh, Nolan, you're under a tornado warning? Dude, take cover if you're under a tent tornado warning. You don't, don't need to watch the, the video. <laughs> um, yeah, we were sitting here uh, coin roll hunting one night with halves, and, and she handed me a 64D, and I looked at it, and it looked just odd. And I kept looking at the uh, mint mark, and it, was, it, it looked, just looked really, really tall, uh, like it really was standing off of the, the, the field of the coin higher than it should have been. And gradually, I, I tilted it, and when I tilted it, there are five individual strikes up the side of that back side of that D 
and we haven't sent it off to be graded yet. I don't know if they're going to consider that a uh, what quintuple die or whether they're going to come back and say it's mechanical doubling. But that thing is really wild looking to look at. Um, let's see, high grove uh, scales. Kind of, okay, uh, sounds like stalkers. Uh, since in the military, my hair has been short and will always stay that way. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. It, it gets, I don't know why. It, it, I think when they put us through boot camp, they really screwed our brains up. And, uh, they're, you know, I still put square corners on the bed when I make the bed and, uh, and tuck the sheets in. And, 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 I, and I really get kind of a little um, uncomfortable when my hair starts getting over my ears and over my shirt collar. So... Like I say, I'm getting old. Uh, you know, the vision's going, and 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 the bad habits uh, or or the good habits from the military are uh, um, are kicking in. Uh, pause, Brown. Another five bucks. I will send you a silver Kruger in. I bought three with one slab uh, S proof seventy. Wow. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I mean, you're you're sending us all this money, and now you're going to send us a silver Kruger in too. That's awesome. And congrats on that that proof seventy. Um, that's that's going to be worth a hell of a lot of money uh, down the road. Uh, George Suchi, retired Navy here. The wife won't let me grow my hair. <laughs> yeah, they uh, they kind of keep us in line. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, we're going to need addresses for uh, for the super chats when we announce the winners uh, of who's going to get these pennies. Um, so make sure that we get your 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 YouTube handle that you go by. Um, so for example, Jeremy Johnson just popped up. If it's Jeremy Johnson uh, or if it's Change X Change, you need to put you know a name and a real address so that we can you know mail it to you because um, it's kind of hard to put them together. Uh, without it and our email address once again is jbcoinsinc at gmail.com and again don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed uh, those all help and we're getting extremely close to 18,000 uh, and when we hit 20 we'll probably have another special little prize or two or three that go out uh, when we do that what camera to use iPhone 6s um, Will, Bill, Bill, William Yates, I made it. Yep, you got here just in time because we're getting ready to uh, shut this sucker down here pretty quick. We're going to give away these four rolls and then we're going to get the heck out of here. Uh, so do you have a list for me of, oh, you don't have a list? We're just going to mail them out? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just going to mail them out. So it's important that if you've given us a super chat, you need to give us your name. Uh, your handle on, on YouTube and your mailing address and we will send you an email and tell you that you have uh, a roll of pennies coming your way. Uh, <laughs> no, don't leave us. Uh, yeah, we got that last week too. Um, but, uh, you know, eventually all good things must come to an end. Um, let's see, I, Ace Freely says I have a 68 quarter with a D mint mark and the mint mark looks like it's been punched a few times. It looks like a blob. Should I get it graded? Yeah, I would consider it. Uh, depends on the condition of the coin. Uh, I've got a few of those coins, uh, or we have a few of those coins since we've merged our collections. Um, there was one that I had from, from about that era that the mint mark was just almost as bizarre as her, her, her JFK. Uh, let's see, sadly, thank you again for the videos. You should do a bill hunt, change it up a little. Yeah, we might do one down the road. I mean, we, we've, we've done okay on the, on the bills in the past. Uh, we do love live streams, Shrill said. Yep, we, we enjoy them too. Um, let's see. So, uh, I think, guys, we're going to call it a wrap. And um, we appreciate all of you guys coming. Uh, it's gonna, I'm going to be real interested to see when we shut this down just how close to 18,000 subs we are. And uh, don't forget, every Sunday from now on, 4 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be here. And hopefully you guys will be too. So uh, uh, what are you pointing at? Let's see, Jeremy Johnson. So do I need to send you my info, Jay, or what? Yeah, you do. Um, the boss is shaking her head and saying, yeah, you do. Uh, Steve Green, okay, yep, see you Sunday. 
All right, guys, appreciate it. Y'all have a, a good, safe week, and see you next Sunday. So for now, JB Coins, signing off.